man Benz in the building today. You feel me? What's up, dog? What's up with you, yeah, right, I see man? you, I see you, I see you. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, we finna, uh, you know what I mean, get into a little chop-up session with my boy, you feel me? That's your boy Benz. I'm coming right here from Roseland, California. That's Roseland District in Santa Rosa, man, 707 out that North Bay area. Yup, and that's where I'm at. That's where we at, man. You dig? My nigga fuck with this music like way real heavy, man. And, uh, man, my nigga, I, when I heard your shit, you feel me? I was like, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? I want to have a sit down with my man. You feel right. me? Yeah, bro. You know, I felt that energy, man. You know what I'm saying? That real nigga shit. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just not a bunch of that old yapping and rapping and talking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Not none of that cornball shit. Half of you motherfuckers be rapping about. You did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, so, like, what inspires you, man, in terms of music and, you know, your style? I just love, I love music, period. My uh, my grandpa, rest in peace to my granddaddy, he, uh, he played the flamenco guitar. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So that's how I grew up in my household, uh, watching him play the flamenco guitar and having dancers and you know what I'm saying with the clams and all that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Going crazy, you know what I'm saying? So feel me, it's in me for sure. That's what's happening. You know, and then you know, being being that I'm a nineties baby man, that that I just ran with it how I ran with it and got into this rapid shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? I just you know What like you know, if you had to like uh define your style of music, you feel me, what book would you classify that? I mean, it's for sure rap. I would say it's gangster rap. I feel like I'm, I'm like, uh, I feel like I could, I could get on any beat though. Yeah. Like some people, you know, they, like, oh, oh boy, he, he, he need that slow beat, or, or he gonna sound tight on this fast beat. Like, I feel like I can get on any one, man. And fuck that shit up. You feel me? Rock with fast, it. slow, anything. You feel yeah. me? And I ain't gonna sit here and act like I'm over here. You feel me? Rapping all, all hard and shit too, cause a motherfucker, I, I fuck around and sing on some shit too. But you gotta auto tune that motherfucker for me, though. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. But I will sing on that shit too. We can keep it playing too. You feel me? It ain't just all about shooting shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So in, in one word, what, how would you define it? Just one word. Man, that's man. You ask me a hard ass question, nah. Uh, <laughs> let me see. I don't even know. I just, man, I just say dance, man. Dance. That's that bands talk. That's what I'm talking about. You feel about. me? Okay, okay. This is me. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we got motivation. We got bands. We got inspiration. We got a few more. You feel yeah. what I'm talking about? We're Amazing. talking about bands today. You did? Tally up, tally yes, up. Sir. Yes, sir. But how you come up with the name bands, bro? Bands is uh, it's short for bandit, bandito. You feel me? That's my name. Yeah. From the streets, bandito. Okay. And, uh, you know... Once my chips started getting up, niggas just, you know, started calling the nigga bands. Like, boop, that's my nigga bands. You feel me? And that's what it is. And I'm still Bandito, you feel me? So, you know, we yeah. just going to keep it lit, man. Bandito and bands, the same shit. Okay, okay. You know? You, uh, you be rocking a lot of shows. When I, like, got on to you, like I said, I seen you performing. Yeah. You know? At first, I was doing hella shit. I was doing, I was doing like, any show that was available, I was pulling up. You feel me? And doing my thing. Mm -hmm. And I like doing it, too. But... At the same time, I was, uh, you feel me, I was buying tickets, then having to sell the tickets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doing that shit, you know what I'm saying? And, like, it's cool, Yeah. but you feel me, I did it so much that, you feel me, I'm just like, I'm to the point where I'm, I'm done with that shit. Right. If a motherfucker don't, I'll pull up to your show for free right now and do that shit, but I ain't even trying to buy your tickets and sell your tickets and none of that shit. Right, I'm right. Cool. So that's a different type of hustle, you feel yeah. me? Yeah, and I ain't knocking it, you feel yeah. me? Like, salute to everybody doing it, man. It ain't a bad thing, you know. It's just, you know, the shit that's going on, I don't got enough time to be doing all that shit, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, you know, I did it, I respect it, but, you know, yeah. it is what it is. I'm going to just keep this shit lit, keep keep doing what I do. Keep pushing your move. Yeah, exactly. That's right, that's right. You uh, you got any projects out right now? Or? Yeah, I got, I got a, a collaboration album with a Ryder J. Clyde. That's the first shit that I did when I first touched down. Shout out to my nigga Trigger Boy D, cause he lined me up with Ryder, and uh, you know what I'm saying we we knocked some shit out. I feel like it's a masterpiece. You feel me? It's a slept on album for sure. How long ago y'all did that? Uh, that shit dropped in 2016, June, okay. June 1st, 2016, yeah. and the shit go crazy. Like we got Fifty Rich, Burner, motherfucking Mozzie. We got, man, for everybody, there's multiple features on that shit, man. People people show love, man, and fucked with it. And it's dope as fuck, you feel me, from start to finish. Yeah. And, uh, shit, we about to do number two. We about to do number two. I got I got a little EP with my partner, Maud the Mad Hatter. 
Shout out to him. He's from up this way. He, he from Oakland. Oakland, okay. Yeah, he's from uh, East Oakland. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just dropped a video with him <clears throat> called Insane. And then other than that, other than them two things, I've just been doing these videos, man. Because I feel like more or less that's really what people want. You the know what I'm saying? Aspect, yeah. Okay. So I just been dropping. I, I, I was dropping video a video every month. You feel me? Consecutively and consistently. But uh, you know, like I said, I caught a little case and shit, so that slowed me down. But we okay, back up. Okay. We got some shit coming. Well, this boss talk, man. You feel me? So we gonna, you know what I mean? Keep this shit real, man. You said you like caught a case. So, uh, yeah. So you got to, you, you're fighting it or you feel me? Or, yeah, I'm on bail right now fighting a, a, a firearms charge. And you know what I'm saying? Hopefully we going to fucking, uh, we going to beat them up. You feel me? We going to beat them up, man. And, yeah. and send it right back to them, man, and, and keep this ball rolling. That's right. And if not, nigga, if I got to go sit back down, I'm going to still be fucking rapping my ass off. There you go. Off that motherfucking pay phone. You already know. Yeah. You've been putting in work, you feel me, just in case, preparing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, off top, yeah. off top. Yeah, we gonna, yeah, we gonna have a whole catalog. If I do gotta go back, yeah, we gonna have a whole catalog. You feel me? Motherfuckers gonna be hearing me regardless. There you go. Whether if they want to or not, I'ma still be dropping shit. That's right. The machine so, can't stop rolling, yeah. man. You feel me? Everything. Man, man handling this business. You dig what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying, bro? As far as uh, collabs and shit, I, you mentioned a few names. You know, you, what, would, what would you consider to be one of your hottest collabs at this point? One of the dopest ones that I, just by numbers, I would say uh, it's a song called Ride or Die. Mm -hmm. It's the second video I ever did, the first single that I ever dropped. And that's with uh, with Shady Nate, with Shady. my partner Trigger Boy D. Okay. Joseph K from Livewire and, uh, and uh, uh, Slimmy B. S O B R B E. Yes, sir. Yeah, shot by Stewie Films, man. Shout out Stewie Films. Yes, sir. Yeah, and this shit go crazy, man. This shit go crazy. Collectively, it got a million views. I feel like it should have got more, but you know. Yeah. You know, it is what it is, but you know. That's right. Yeah, collectively, it got a million views from the from the actual single drop into the video. You know what I'm saying? So you know, that's a dope ass. It's a dope ass song. If you ain't heard it, man, type that motherfucker up. What is it? Ride or die, go on YouTube, ride or die, go on uh, any uh, digital outlet and buy that shit, man. 99 cents or some shit. That's right. Ride or die, bands. Shit so go who crazy. You, who you look forward to working with? Man, there's a lot of people. I mean, I'm just who, trying to. Who just... would you consider to be the best collab in terms of how you, you know what I'm saying? For me? Yeah, 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 really rocking. For me, I, I mean, me, I'm just like. I like making music, mm -hmm. so, you know, if you dope, if you dope, then it make me want to work with you, you know what I'm saying, I'm like, you're like, oh, he dope, so I'm like, man, you know what I mean, like, 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 it make me want, it make, you feel me, like, if you a dope, I like music, I, if you in this music shit, and you acting like you don't like music, like, why the fuck you doing this shit then, you feel me, like, I like music, so if yeah. a motherfucker rapping hella good, or if he singing hella good, or if you a girl and you rapping and you singing, I'm like, okay, little baby dope, like, damn, they make me want to do something, right. like, like, you feel me, I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and uh, give you that from across the street, you feel me, I'm going to come and fuck with, like, what's up, let's do something, you feel me, so, there's too many out there, I ain't going to lie, yeah. a lot of y'all suck, though, but a lot of y'all is dope, you feel me. <laughs> Right. A lot of y'all dope though too, so you know, hopefully we can cross past, man, you feel me? And do some shit one day. Get to the business. Yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Cause, you so know, in terms of all the songs that you done done thus far, what would you consider to be one of the realest songs you done wrote? The realest ones? Shit, the realest song that I did, I didn't even write that motherfucker. I, uh, <laughs> and uh, you feel me? It just came natural. You know what I'm saying? Some, yeah. some, some of the songs I do, like recently too, like some of the songs I've been doing, I, I, I quit writing. I just I just play the song over. I mean, it's it's basically writing in my head though. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I just keep playing it and playing it, driving around. I'll even hop in the motherfucking shower and play the beat. So I so I just keep it going. You know what I'm saying? And then pretty soon I, it'll just get it in my head. You feel me? Boop. And, and I'll just and I'll just do it like that. And that's uh the the one that I'm talking about is it's called Made Me. And that's me bands Made Me. And it's you feel me? It ain't even really rapping, but it's kind of like you know the little auto tune shit. You know. Man. And I just did it, and I just, you feel me, went smooth on it. And, you know, it's just natural. Sometimes when I write, I feel like, you feel me, like a motherfucker thinking too hard. And, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You got to whoop, so I don't like writing no more. That would bring me to my next question that I was going to ask, which is, what's your process, you feel me, yeah. in terms of creating a song? See, when I did the album, my first album with uh, with Roger J. Clyde, 
You feel me? I had never wrote a whole rap. You feel me? Like, I had never wrote a whole verse in my life. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, I, I could never sit down and write. You feel me? <clears throat> I'm in school. Can't sit down. You can't listen. You know what I'm saying? So, so me sitting down and writing a rap was the same shit for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't even sit there and write. I'll, I'll write a fucking line. And be like, man, fuck this shit. Right, right. So, so when I made that shit with Ryder, like, that shit kind of pushed me. And, like, and, I, and I wrote that whole album. Like, I, I, I wrote it down. But, you know, I, uh, it's dope, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, like I said, you feel me? It's just, it, don't, it didn't feel, like, real, real natural to me because, because I'm sitting there. I, I don't want to sit here no more. I want to get up. Right, so I'm, right. But I'm like, no, I got to finish this shit. And I'm writing this motherfucker, like, you feel me? So, I, and I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm new to this shit, so I'm still figuring it out. And, and, and most, I, I like I said, uh, like I've been rapping since I got out. And dropped that album so since 2016. So at the end of 2016. So yeah, probably like damn, like two and a half years. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, but most most recently, I've been getting more comfortable. Like I said, just just riding around with, with the beat. You feel me? And just man, just over and over until I got it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I got it. Like, boop, go to the lab, boop, record that shit, and it's natural. You know what I'm saying? I didn't write shit. I didn't. You feel me? It all came. It all came from whoop and just came out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I like it like that. It's better like that. Yeah, yeah. First person I really got in touch with in terms of uh, that way of creating, you feel me, was Biggie. Yeah. You know I mean? Is that how he did it? I mean, to my knowledge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he was the first, but, you know what I mean, publicly, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that that was his process, I was like, damn. You know what I mean? That's, that's dope. dope shit. Yeah, that's mean? dope. See, yeah. I didn't even know that. Mm-hmm. But, uh... How, what you doing as far as how you moving? You looking for a deal? You keeping this shit solo? Or? Man, I mean, I ain't really. I ain't looking for shit. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just doing me. Like, I just feel like you feel me. Like, I honestly feel like I feel like my shit's dope, you know. And I, I feel like if you an artist doing this shit, you should feel like your shit's dope. Right. But I do take into consideration like the actual, the actual music. You feel me? Like, and what, what you saying? And you feel me? How you coming on the beat and everything? You feel me? So, and I really think my shit's dope. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm the best, but I mean, I'm gonna let anybody else, you know, what I'm saying, think that. But uh, but uh, you know, I think my shit's dope. So I, I just think if I just keep doing what, doing me, man, and doing what I do, you feel me? That it's gonna work out. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause really, it's easy, man. Like. All it takes is for somebody that's already there to, to, to give you that, you know what I'm saying? Give you that uh, that help, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's the hardest thing to get. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? exactly. Because in the end, it's competition too, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, somebody, it's just luck, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe being at the right place at the right time. There's just so many things, ways it can happen. Yeah. But, I'm like I said, I'm going to just keep doing me. Like, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm a firm like, believer, man, that... When you got a path and you got a vision, man, that you try to follow that out. Yeah. Because even if somebody up here and you down here, man, they respecting you because you're exactly. slowly but surely exactly. you feel me getting it up. And there's levels to this shit. Like, yeah. like, 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 I'm just boop. I'm building. I'm putting bricks down every song. Like, right. And we just keeping we keeping it keeping it going. Like, yeah. and I ain't getting worse. My shit getting better to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, exactly. I ain't going backwards. You feel me? So. Like, and, and the littlest progress is progress. So it's like, you, you feel me? If I take a year to do some shit, you know what I'm saying? In a year, you know what I'm saying? Whether or not I pop a blow up or what, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm up more than I was last year. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I'm getting closer to what the fuck I'm trying to get to. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So what, what would you consider to be the biggest lesson in terms of this music shit that you've learned thus far? The biggest lesson? I'll say... I'll say just... just uh. Just, just stay true to yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's the biggest thing you could do. Like, is is just, it's just be you. Yeah. Because ultimately, that's who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just be yourself, man. And a, and a good lesson is that shit don't happen overnight for most people. And, and uh, and to uh, to not give up. You know what I'm saying? To just to stay focused, man, and just and keep like you said, man. Just if you you believe in, in something, you know what I'm saying? Then go do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like. Like fuck, if you really want, if you really want to do music, like don't doubt yourself, man, and just do that shit, man. Keep it lit, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. You feel me? A lot of cats, you know, they get intimidated or 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 because you know how it is sometimes, right? You you doing your music, you handling your business, you slowly making progress, yeah. and then motherfuckers don't necessarily uh, uh, salute you. Yeah, they don't give you the recognition. Saying? 
Yeah. They damn near, they damn near uh, do the opposite. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So, I mean, in a situation like that, how you overcome that, bro? Man, you just got to keep it pushing, man, and, and don't worry about the next person. Yeah. You just like I say, you just gotta do you because I done felt like that before too. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I know you see me, but you acting like you don't. There you, go. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, motherfuckers got attitudes and, and, and complexes and a whole bunch of shit. And that's why at the end of the day, you just gotta do you because you know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't putting nothing on my plate. You know what I'm saying? So I don't yeah. give a fuck what the fuck he thinking. I don't give a fuck what he got to say. Like, you do you, I'm gonna do me, and we gonna see what the fuck happened. Yeah, shit, up. straight up. Straight up. So, man, in terms of this little uh, drug trend, man, that's going through the industry, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? What's, how you feel about that, man? Man, say no to drugs, man. Like, there you go. <laughs> man, health is wealth, man. Like, right. I mean, I done been there and done that, you know what I'm saying? When I was when I was young, you know what I'm saying, I didn't give a fuck. I was yeah. doing whatever the fuck, you know, and a lot of people doing it. But now, like you said, I see a lot of, see a lot of older people, artists doing it, yeah. you know, everybody sipping bow and motherfuckers popping pills and yeah. Doing all that shit, man. But I mean, I mean, I don't know how I don't know how long it's gonna last yeah. for them. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. Health is wealth, man. I, I suggest everybody stay away from that shit, man, and, and, and take care of your body, man, and take care of your mind. You, you know what I'm saying? Keep a clear mind, man, and keep and, and better your life, man. Cause right. that's what it's about. I mean, everybody grown, they gonna do what they do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it's a business. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you can stay level headed, man, clear minded, it's gonna help you progress a little faster. You yeah. feel me? So yeah, man. That's straight what's up. Happening. Yeah, straight up. You yeah. already know. Yes, yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, bro, uh, man, let the people know how to get in touch with you, man. And uh, any last words in terms of what you got going on, yeah. or anything like that. Shit, like I don't got nothing. I don't got Facebook, Twitter. I don't got none of that shit. I don't got Snapchat. I just got an Instagram at bands b a n d s seven zero seven man. So that's where you can find me at. If you ain't there, you ain't gonna find me, man. Unless you run into me somewhere. But uh, you know, yeah. other than that, you feel me? I'm just I'm gonna keep this shit lit. I got I got uh, more visuals on the way. You feel me? I'm uh, we got some more albums coming. You know what I'm saying? And and we just gonna keep keep doing what we do, man. Straight up, man. Keep pushing. Keep pushing, y'all. So, yeah, man, thank y'all for tuning in. You know what I mean? That's been another episode. And uh, tune in at uh, Success Entertainment Television and Films channel on YouTube. Subscribe, get notified. And, uh, man, stay updated and motivated. We out of this bitch. I don't go.